driving all night long to the place where I belong, back to where I started from, the only place that I call. All right, we arrived just a few days ago at Amana RV Park and Resort Center. I'm standing here right outside of our RV. And we came up here to visit with uh, our friend Aaron Jemison, who is a work camper here. They came over and visited last night, but they left their vehicle improperly parked overnight on our grass. So, and there's the culprit right now. I'm, I'm writing you parking tickets. So he goes by as he's about ready to get parking tickets. I'm writing, I'm writing this person parking tickets. Hey everybody. I believe this belongs to you, sir. It says. You got a couple parking violations. <laughs> I didn't want that. I said you guys could use it if you want to. <laughs> Come oh, on. Oh, you were being nice? Yes. Oh, okay. I was well, trying to be nice. We'll just get rid of these. We were going to fine him um, for parking on the grass and illegal parking overnight. <laughs> Your fine is five hours, five watch hours for pause and effect. Okay. And well, uh, one three tail sticker with a live application. Yes. <laughs> we can do that. I think we can do that. Drinking with my old best friend, listening to the radio. Hey, we are at Amana RV Park and Event Center here in Amana, Iowa. We came up to visit with Aaron Jemison from Three Tails RV. He's actually right behind the camera. Um, about 100 feet that way, and he's work camping here at Amana RV Park. We came to visit with Aaron and actually pick up these cool signs that you can get from Aaron. So if you're interested in these signs or the sign holder, Aaron makes all of those. And you can just leave a comment below and we'll get you in touch with Aaron. Or you can head over to his channel, Three Tails RV, under the name of Aaron, A-R-O-N, Jemison, J-E-M-I-S-O-N. And uh, check him out on YouTube. He does a lot of DIY for RV stuff, RV product reviews, all things RV related. There's a big AKC dog show going on at the moment. You can hear the, all the dogs kind of barking around. Uh, so there's over 470 or so units, RV units here camping. They've only got 450 spots, but Aaron Jemison, who's a work camper here, said that they have been kind of creative in placing some RVs in other places. So they've used up all 450 spots and they're overflowing capacity. So this RV park, it's very quiet. Uh, the spots are quite spacious. As you can see, all of this spot is our yard here. Um, amenities, not really any amenities to, to speak of. They've got a very small laundry room. Um, we didn't use it because it was busy, so we went to the laundromat in town. Um, they have the bathhouses. Uh, they've got a couple of event center buildings but they don't really do many RV community activities those are really for the events that are held here um, other than that most of the activities that you're going to do here are going to be in the town or the villages of Amana so we're visiting here for a week mainly because Aram was here um, otherwise there's there's not many amenities that would keep you here no, no pool um, there is no dog park right now but I'm hearing they're going to put the dog park in this community, the Amana community, the Amana people, came over from Germany in the 1800s and they actually uh, created a community in New York, about 5,000 acres, and they quickly outgrew that as more and more people came over from Germany to be part of this communal living community. Um, and they, After they outgrew that area in New York, they came over here to Amana and they've got 26,000 acres, or they had 26,000 acres, until about 1932 when they switched over from communal living to more of a traditional society. You can check it all out at the Amana Historical Museum, which is about a mile from the Amana RV park where we're staying.
resting on the myth of old. All of the stories have been told. Secret places hidden well are gone now, as far as I can tell. I'm supposed to go get the bike. The his bike later this afternoon. What's that? I'm gonna go get his bike later this afternoon. I'll drive it back up here and then we can go. Oh, cool. Do some. That'd be awesome. Some running. People not only asking to make signs, they'll be asking you to make them clothes. <laughs> yeah, but it's over here. You right gotta on. go see it. It's hanging up on the wall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's better than the one on the front. I figured it'd be the purple one next to it, but actually, today so we're at the quilt shop, and it's also Worst Fest, which is with the just this weekend. It's all about the the worst being the little winter dogs. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a bunch of them wandering around. We just got to stop every 15 minutes. They invite everybody that has a dachshund to come into town, oh. and. That's why they have the closing ceremony is the uh, Dachshund wiener race. Wiener, yeah. wiener race. The wiener race. Cool. Did you notice yep. that what it's the uh, visitor center is actually that's Made a corn bin? Yeah. Yeah. 
Man of coffee and tea company. He's easily entertained, almost as easily as me. We have three of them, and they're not behaved. Aw, you're so sweet. You just like me. Really? Do not touch. What was the purpose I have in different, different villages? Because one was the mill, so they did the, the wool. They had another one that did uh, brick for all the buildings. And then they had another one that did the farming. They had another one that did, so each one supported the other. And they, Pulled it they were together. separate just because the people would live close to right. wherever they worked. So the workers mm -hmm. for that area would live. And families, <laughs> when they would be coming, from New York, there was only three gentlemen that came, just got out the area. And bought like 5,000 acres in yes. New York, right? Well, that's where they started. Right. Well, that wasn't enough because people were still coming and wanting to get out. And so they bought the first few thousand here, but then to divide. 26,000 total, right? 26,000. Seven villages. I hate it. Oh, he threatened me with my life with it. You're wasting my SD card now. Mm -hmm. Did you ask to record, Lori? <laughs> <laughs> I thought a moose with an uh, Uncle Sam hat. <laughs> <laughs> Am I on? Is it? Am I on? Mm -hmm. Is it on? No. no. It's a red light for it. No. It's just to test it. Just to test it. I looked. I looked. What? I'm going to put you in the just tell your story. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Turn it off. It's not okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tell your story. Turn it off. Tell your story. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs>
what you think about the wiener dog races? It's very cute. It was very cute. We're, we're done in the town of Amana. Maine Amana, I guess. Maine Amana? Maine Amana. Saw all the shops, had some ice cream. Had some new beer, had some cream soda. Yeah, it was a fun afternoon. There comes a time. center for a few days touring the Amana communities or if you're visiting somebody nearby it's a great option uh, very quiet uh, location and the grounds are very flat and very spacious if you will that's probably the biggest positives for the Amana RV Center is the spacious grounds and um, the quietness of the location. 